What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about some crazy wrestling news. This was definitely not in my bingo card for 2024, but apparently Shane McMahon may be working with the opposition with Tony Khan in AEW. A picture surfaced of them in a meeting room uh, today, and it has the wrestling world a buzz. So we're going to check out, see what's going on here, because that's crazy. Like I said, that was not in my bingo card for 2024. Shane McMahon potentially working with Tony Khan in AEW. Shane McMahon met with Tony Khan reportedly about working together. Shane McMahon to AE, uh, AEW Talk started last month when Conrad Thompson shared on Jim Ross podcast that McMahon had discussed the idea with several members of the AEW roster. This I heard about, but I didn't make a video about it because I was like, ah, that could just be a rumor. Who knows how true that is? Other sources describe McMahon's conversation as small talk between former co-workers, but that didn't stop AEW owner, president, and head of creative Tony Khan from being asked about, about it repeatedly. Khan maintained that he's never met Shane, but also said on multiple occasions that he, he'd be open to having him in AEW. Of course he would. Why wouldn't he? Well, uh, we now know that they've met and we're hearing that they talked about working together. That's because of Reporting from Wrestle Talk and Fightful, which includes this picture of TK and Shane O'Mac reportedly taken in Arlington, Texas office on Monday, July 29th. AEW and ROH are running shows out of Arlington East uh E uh Esports Stadium for the next several weeks. And this is the photo. A photo of Shane and Man and Tony Khan having a meeting. That's crazy. You see this right now. And, of course, Tony got this shock. But, come on now. Whoever took that picture and Tony being shocked, of course, they knew they were going to post this. This is wild. Fightful, uh, Fightful reports that two uh, met to discuss possibilities moving forward and has heard that the AEW boss is very open to using Shane on his shows. Fightful also confirmed that as of last month, uh, McMahon has no contractual ties to WWE. Is it only a matter of time before Vince McMahon show uh, Vince McMahon's son show up on Dynamite? Stay tuned. That is just the idea of this. I, <laughs> like this is truly, truly crazy, bro. You know it's kind of wild. Dub hit me up. Dub texts me. He's like, "Yo, what's going on?" You know it's something big when Dub himself is getting some wrestling-related news about this. This is wild. I heard the rumors, but I wasn't really sure. That's why I didn't make a video. I was like, you know, we'll see if that happens. I doubt it. Now that this is actually a thing, and this could really be something that they move forward with, that's really crazy. Vince's son working for the opposition's company, it's mind blowing now will it obviously potentially raise some ratings of course i do think people will be interested hell i'm gonna tune in even to see what's going on and granted i've been tuning in here and there to check out some of the stuff that you know i haven't been enjoying like mjf you know and will osprey and stuff like that i've been enjoying that so you know I, i'll check out the show here and there uh, for those type of matches or you know watch watch the match at a later date or whatever um but i do think this would help them rating wise but i don't know how long because yes shane being there is like a crazy move people are gonna be like yo shame and man's in AEW. gotta see what's going on what is he gonna do how's this gonna work out and people will be interested for a little bit is keeping their interest that's AEW's problem AEW will get somebody former somebody wwe related and the hype will be there and then they will mess up the hype by how they book them and then now they lose the hype now sometimes they can gain it back like with the sasha thing i think as soon as they realize you know things weren't you know the fans weren't really going to be interested in, interested in her as a baby face and just to see how her promos had went they should have immediately audibled and went heel 
now that she's a heel, it works better. You know, and I think she's going to have a program with uh, Dr. Britt Baker. So I think that's going to be good. Britt Baker versus um, Sasha or Mercedes. I think that's going to be pretty pretty uh, good. A women's program. They need that. Um, the, the face of the women's division in AEW versus a newcomer. Um, so I think they can work with that. But I think they just have a problem of when they see something, they don't capitalize on. They wait, and then now it's too late. That person doesn't have the same buzz, the same excitement. And I think that's been AEW's problem for a very long time. They have something organically over. They don't capitalize on it. And I don't want that to be the same situation. You got Shane fucking McMahon, and you don't capitalize on it. Or you have a situation where Shane ends up doing what he was doing before he left, inserting himself in feuds and, and matches and calling himself the best wrestler in the world like you don't want that either because then you essentially do the same thing he did in wwe and kind of it doesn't help the talent so it's a double-edged sword here i don't know what shane they're gonna get but i will say this if this does happen they will create interest it's how long can they keep that interest up? I would be interested to see what happens here. Like, what the fuck are they going to do with Shane? How is he going to be a part of the storylines going forward? He is literally working with the opposite, the opposition. Like, that's crazy. I would never have thought that. But once again, who knows? Who knows how this plays out? You know what I'm saying? Um, they, they have something here. But once again, it's maintaining it. They can maintain the interest level. That would be cool. Now, what I did see a report of Tony saying, you know, he wouldn't have a problem working with WWE, even though it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I don't know about that, Tony, because you did just call them the Harvey Weinstein of the wrestling world live on national television, I think, during the NFL draft. I don't think they forgot about that. So I don't know. But if they were ever to you know, like mend, make amends, they would be able to have, honestly, another, um, I guess, what was that? The WCW, the Alliance versus WWF storyline. They could have, they could do that. Shane really jumping ship and actually going with the other company to try to take down WWE or whatever. I doubt that happens. I don't even know if I want that to happen. To be honest with you, I think AEW needs to focus on their shows and getting their shows where it needs to be. But you never know. <laughs> I mean, I, at this point in wrestling and just in the world in general, 2024 has been a crazy year. So you never really know, honestly. So comment down below. Let, let me know how y'all feel about Shane possibly being part of AEW, man. Do, is that something that you would want to see? Are you excited about it? Or is it something that you just really don't give a damn about? It? It's indifferent to how you view the product y'all let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace